Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Pawnee for EU4. So there is a, uh, a new beta patch available, 1.4.1.1. And I'm not going to be using it for this playthrough because um, some it, it changes a ton of different things. Like, apparently the AI, I don't know if we can see it, but let's go see if we can experiment. Like, the AI is cheating and building buildings that it's not supposed to. <laughs> like, you've got unreformed natives that are building actual temples and stuff like you're no you're reformed let's see if we can find an old unreformed native i don't know we probably killed them all didn't we maybe the inca are doing it see like the inca here we go <clears throat> the inca are animist they're still south american tech group they're really really far behind on technology um but if you like look at it they're building things they're not supposed to like trade depots maybe they can build that with that tech i'm not sure but anyway, the point is, there's just a whole bunch of stuff that the 1.4.1.1 uh, beta patch fixes. And it's not actually compatible, at least with my save. So it crashed the game when I tried to use it. So I'm going to wrap this one up um, as quick as I can, get up to first place, and then I'm going to start a new series on, one, on, the, on the new beta patch. So, that all being said, we can invest in a Grand Navy. Um, there's a really cool feature also in 1.4.1.1. Point one that allows you to indicate which ones of these you actually want to to pop up as a warning. But we're not going to do that. We know about the maintenance. We know that we're at war. We know about revolt risk. We know we're blockaded. We can choose night. That's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we have a mission? Our mission is to make Choctaw like us, which is going to be a little tricky. Probably have to send them a gift. All right. Spain's being occupied. We are at war with California and Portugal and Portuguese Mexico. Apparently they have two colonies that border each other. Carpet sieging stuff. We should probably work our way up into this area as well. In fact, why don't you guys go up there? Why don't you guys go up here? Straight up to there and uh, you guys go up to Apache. And yeah, so... Ha! You know, some people were saying in the comments that uh, going to war while we have inflation and stuff, bad idea, but not quite. Apparently it's a good idea. I do agree, though, that inflation is probably something we should take care of. There's 62 admin points, and stability is back up to zero. From now on, I think we're going to we're gonna dump some points into um, getting inflation under control. And whenever possible, I do want to take on the guy that reduces inflation. Chinook. Chinook? Like the helicopter. Now, there is one army here. This is probably the Mexican army. Oh, no, that's Austria. Look at that. Austria actually got some troops over. Austria and Lavrador. Who the hell's Lavrador? So we got our reinforcements here. I think we'll be just fine. He'll probably even turn around. No, he's not. He's going to stick with it. And our guys here. We can invest in a new technology. Do we want to do the Gallius? Um, well, we'll hold off on that for now. I remember I, what I do want from this war is I do just want them to white peace. I don't actually want to have to take on any territory that we have to core. Um, I guess the only thing I might consider is is if there's lands here that we could we could take and then recreate as a vassal. Maya. We could recreate Maya, and then feed Maya some stuff. Maya only has one province, though. No, I, yeah, we're just going to go for the concede defeat. I want to lower Portugal's prestige. I want to knock them out of whatever place they're in. And that's about it. I used to think that, uh, oh, hey, the Christian infidels have called for a crusade against us. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I think that... I, I can't see it here, but I wonder who the Curia controller is. Wouldn't be surprised if it's Portugal. Alright, so that's going fine. Um, their army is retreating into Milwaukee, which we have troops there. So we'll just fight them and kill them again. Probably exterminate them. Hopefully. Oh, and somebody mentioned, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to... Okay... Arrive. No, not arrive. What's the what's the word for it again? Um, shoot. Oh, I gotta search all. That's why. 
When a unit arrives at its destination. One of our units arrives at its destination. Oh, that's weird. I think that the beta, the 1.4.1 the patch, which is live, actually reset my message settings. Um, what we, do, what I want to do is I want to set it so that uh, when we get attacked, when one of our armies is attacked by an enemy, we want that to be a pop-up. Play it as a pop-up. When one of our navies is attacked, pop-up. So we want to know about that. We don't want any like surprise pop-ups like, oh, by the way, you guys lost. Like I don't want that. I want to know when a battle happens. But... I don't want to have the constant pop-ups for armies arriving. I, I feel like that does get a bit excessive. Was that a pop-up saying that my army had arrived? I think it was, damn it. Okay, we want a battle. It's good. It should just stay there. Have a new air. Wonderful news. We have won a siege. Okay, we're at 18%. Are you willing to uh, surrender yet? Anyway, as I was saying, I used to feel like the Concede Defeat was just like a very minor thing to do. Um, these are all unable to negotiate. But, you know, like Portugal has, has lost some prestige from fighting us. They're down to 83, and we now come down to 73, then that just hurts everything. Their morale goes down, their global trade power goes down, legitimacy. Like, it, you just have to beat them up, I think, get their prestige down over a period of wars. Um... Although, I don't know, um, maybe war exhaustion would be another good way to do it. The problem is there's not much Portugal over here. Really just those. Apparently France is threatening our trade. We have a loan coming due. We have one loan. I think we just call it there. We'll just take all Portuguese, Mexico, California, and this. Quality wool. <clears throat> Up to 20% now. <clears throat> We're not going to get any ticking war score, are we? Oh, no, we are. I'm sorry. I'm crazy. He'll surrender eventually. If his, um... If his war enthusiasm would just go down, then we'd be fine. I don't see Portugal being able to transport any kind of a reasonable army. Ooh, do you have any money? Chimu. I don't remember you. Country, country. Chimu. 19 bucks. Okay, that's not really what I had in mind. Some people had suggested that I should disband my early Carex. Um, I disagree. When I compare the quality... Like, I definitely agree that you should upgrade your caravels. Like, your, your light ships, because they provide more trade power. But when you compare the hull size and cannons of an early Carex to a regular Carex... It's not that significant of a difference. Like, I'm not going to disband 15... What the hell? Austria, get the hell out of there. I'm not going to disband 1,500 worth of ducats just to get a small amount of increased stuff. I don't think it's worth it. At least not, not right now. Not when we're struggling in some ways. Alright, we should be reducing inflation. We could also consider raising war taxes just to... Maybe uh, maybe we raise war taxes and we stay in, the, stay in the war for two years and just let them get some war exhaustion. Alternatively, we are quite close to winning. And if we occupy some more stuff and get some more ticking war score, we'll probably win. I could wander all the way over here. Castilian, Louisiana. There's, wait, what? Castilian, and it's a colony of Spain. That's weird. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we're going to do war taxes, but let's definitely lower inflation. I'm going to start doing that a bunch. Mild winter. It's kind of nasty. Austria apparently dropping off troops here. We have no access through Spain. Can't get access through Spain.
It's fine though, we got them pretty well boxed in. I mean, that army's not gonna go anywhere. This fellow's got one siege score. He could definitely use a few more cannons. I think all my cannons are here. Let's, um... <clears throat> Let's just move the whole army over there. The supply limit's very substantial. I think we'll be okay. New colony? How many colonies do we have right now? Just two at the moment. Yeah, three colonies is probably a bit excessive. I agree. I only go up to three because I want the mission. <coughs> I've got this tickle in my throat. It's driving me crazy. Our expenses are at 94.5, down to 93. Saves us one ducat a month. That's 12 ducats a year, for those who aren't aware. None of these have any cannons. Uh, you actually have a cannon. We'll probably send one cannon forward to here and here just to help them along. Although they're about to, uh, to go just fine. Ooh, hey, hey, Portugal. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Portugal. They just... Where, where's the uh, when a battle begins? When one of our armies is attacked. Let's do that one. Because <clears throat> they just blew up my whole fleet. <laughs> they blew up, not the whole fleet, but like, some of the, the heavies. I feel like, um... We might need to actually have a, uh... He's just plowing right into this, into this, this area. We're gonna get an actual naval guy. Even though he's going to be garbage, we're going to get one. Because this battle is very important. It's like the local defensiveness. 20 regiments from Portugal. 35 heavies versus 15 newer heavies. Portugal's sitting on level 16 dip diplomatic tech. 16 does enable them to build galleons. If these are 15 galleons versus 35 early carracks, then yeah, maybe it would be pretty significant. They're not willing to peace out. Let's just give it a go. If our fleet gets... Oh, our fleet's damaged. Oh, we captured a galleon. That's fine. We'll keep them all in there. If, if they blow up our fleet, then we will rebuild it. Oh my god. Their guy's a 4-1. Or sorry, he's a 2-3. We roll a 9... Our morale is just getting devastated. Okay. Apparently these ships are crap. I rescind all of my former comments about the fleet being fine. That was a slaughter. Just an absolute slaughter. They gained, our, they gained ships from us, too. Well, fine. Obviously, we're going to need to recombine these armies into something, and then go attack him. We might actually be able to piece him out, though, before he, uh, before we have to engage that army. Negative ten reasons. As soon as that gets taken back. And then these, these four are all about to fall. Utapa. He's probably just going to sit on the war goal with that. Also, in the 1.4.1, I, I can't remember if it was the beta patch or the actual 1.4.1 patch. They made it so that... Um, hey, new Navy Tradition, that would have been nice. They made it so that uh, naval combat's more fierce. Like, they, they, they don't spread out their damage as much. They actually try to target and sink ships. So, that's good. I always feel like naval combat's, like... You just sort of show up and smack each other a bit, but then nothing really happens. You know? As long as we finish our sieges before they finish theirs, we might be able to piece them out. And I do want to just white piece. Or not white piece. Uh, I want them to surrender to me. 25. Negative 4 reasons. <clears throat> Let's see, should we be... I thought I read that 
Patrolling ships no longer blockade. But this ship is moving. Why is it blockading? Seems silly. And Portugal's bringing a much smaller fleet this time to the coast of Baja. This one we might be able to take. It's got all of its light ships. Let's wait till the next month tick. Yep. Clipperton Island. And wait for the month to tick so we can fix up our ships. Part of the problem also is probably that we're not at full maintenance. That would be wise. Let's go see if we can find that fleet and blow it up. Oh, we're at 28%. Let's just peace out. Yeah, that's fine. So if we concede, def we, we make them concede defeat, they lose 10 prestige. Um, <clears throat> they're back up to 89. Eh, whatever. We won a war against Portugal, that's what matters. You might think that it's not worthwhile, but I disagree. I think it is. I think it's fine. We're almost ready to lower overextension, or uh, not overextension, but uh, inflation again. We're just going to bring our expenses down. We've got a loan to pay off. We're behind still on tech. I do want to try to catch up whenever possible. Next 16 here. Look at that, all that extra modifiers. Charge infantry. Hmm. I think more so than yeah, I'm gonna do this. I wanna I wanna finish off naval ideas. And I also want to, I want everything. I want to rebuild the fleet, I want to do all kinds of stuff. Let's rebuild the fleet. We're not going to be at war with anybody serious for a while, I think. I would have loved to have blown that army up. I should have, I should have done that. We're going to do it. Fine, we're going to, we're going to get rid of the old ships. Sort by type. There's a couple, at one point we had taken a Gallius from somebody. Are they all Carricks? Okay, we got one regular Carrick. Let's just get rid of them all. All of them. Disband. Fleet maintenance goes from 26 down to 6. So now we get 20 gold a month. So over the course of the next few years, we will we'll rebuild. And uh, we're going to rebuild galleons. So, yeah, apparently I... <clears throat> maybe I should have actually gone for the tech and then get up to 15 and build some galleons. <clears throat> oh well. I don't think we're going to be at war with anybody serious for a while. We'll colonize a bit. We'll get our inflation under control. And uh, then we'll continue to, to worry about trying to get into first place. So thanks for watching everyone. I'm going to take a break here. See you again soon.